Um, could you explain more about um, the apex? Mm. Um, so your definition about that and um, the benefit mm -hmm. for the daily life. So the benefit for um, myself mm -hmm. and the benefit to the relationship to other person. Yes, I, I love the apex. So the apex was uh, is the, the apex is the reason why the somatic consent engagement system actually exists and looks different to the wheel of consent. So the apex in itself is this very middle point there in the middle of the base. Yeah, is this place of when you have embodied the engagement system. So when you have embodied that place of um, uh, the inflow and asking for what you want and you have played the three minute game a few hundred times and you really have got it in your nervous system, this place will automatically become a level of awareness. So it is this place of interpersonal engagement. So when you, for example, see in the in the system in itself, you engage with somebody in the three minute game with the question, hey, may I feel your hands? And then you choose that the other person as well feels your hand. So it is um, um, in reverse where one person has their time and their experience and then the other person has their time and their experience. Yeah? So where you have your finding and your experience and then the other person has their finding and their experience. In, the, in this dynamic, you play literally the game, the three minute game, or you have the agreement about what and how you want to relate with that person in this very moment. Yeah, or you want a person to do something for you, but the other person has nothing that uh, this person wants, but still has their own time. So it's the clear frame of agreements based on what one person wants and the other person has a limit about. Specifically, when it comes to the sensual inflow, one person feels one hand for one time and then the other person feels the other's hand for this time. But you know, when you have, for example, the dynamic of... Um, contact improvisation, playing simultaneously sensual feeling another, lovemaking. This is all not existing within, this, within the system. It exists all in this apex place of mutual engagement. Maybe within an agreement, maybe not. And in this apex place, this is where we can develop through the embodiment of the engagement zone, so within the system, where we can develop different personal and spiritual values, like integrity. So I know when my hand is in action, I know by agreement, is it for you or is it for me? So integrity comes with this package of I'm getting in alignment with my desires, with my thoughts, with my words, and with my action. And I'm not trying to manipulate anything out of you because I can ask for what I want. And when I can receive what I want, I will come into a place of becoming grateful for the gifts that are given. I'm not taking it for granted that I, that I receive anything without appreciating the gift that comes my way. And as well from that place of generosity, um, I give because I have, and I have because I know how to fill up my cup. And the other one is surrender. So to have access to that place where I can either 
let the other person do what they want or surrender to the action that I want another person is doing to me. So these are all values. They are all developing up there in this apex place. But the main place in the apex is this <clears throat> being in this space of love and care, being in the space of love and care for other people, being in the space of love and care for the world we live in, and knowing when we are in a position of power that we're not using our power to misuse other people so that we're using our power as the gift of power for other people's transformation to rise in the place where they don't know yet that exists. So it is a spiritual dynamic from the apex that when we are a gift that we have a full, clear, felt sense of that. So that means that our action does not mean we are in a shadow when there is no agreement. Our action can be just a intuitively flow with life in the moment what is. Or we engaging with somebody else and giving our gift to the world without wanting anything back, without having any need to fulfill it when we give something. And that in itself opens up a spiritual realm into this place of unified consciousness, of this place, well, we are actually all one and we can all merge with each other. But as I think as a human species or as this mammal that we all are, we are not supposed to be all the time in different in in this space that i think then we would live in a in a candy chocolate artificial spiritual bypassing la la land and i think that's not what life is meant to be it is that we allowing ourselves as well to engage with our own survival strategies and mechanism when they come up with the shadow. So we, when we have the apex and know how to reach there, then we're not afraid to dig down into this kind of the shadows here. And then we're not afraid in digging down in other people's shadows. Then we can engage from a place of creating a new reality without getting lost in our shadows or without getting lost in somebody else's shadows. This is a kind of in a nutshell, but you know, the main thing is this love and care, love making, being with friends, connecting, being in the flow is that what is in the present moment right here, right now with other people.